Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to uh, replace a direct replacement LC screen on this Siemens 10.4 inch um, multi panels. Uh, our part number, our replacement screen part number is 6AV643 0 CD01 1AX LCD. Okay, so this is direct replacement, including the drivers and the wire adapter. Let's take a look at this HMI. This is made by Siemens. Okay, see this? The part number, original part number is 6AV6643-OZD01-1AX. Six, 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 OZD one, one. It's a 10.4 inch. Uh, you know, the front bezel was missing when I purchased it. You know, this is, um, they supposed to have a front bezel, have a touch screen on it. But uh, yes, it's, uh, to replace a screen is quite simple for this one, especially for this one, the bezel is missing. The bezel is holding by six screw, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so first you're gonna flip over and then we're gonna remove this four screw that holding the screen. And then we're gonna disconnect the inverter and mount our screen back and mount this um, driver at the same location. Okay, let's take out this four screw first. Okay, the screws out. You're gonna lift up a little bit. On this end, I want to show you this is a screen wire that you need to take it out. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Just do like this. On each end, let me use the back hand, see? Okay, then we're gonna set aside flake overs. There's a two LEDs, I mean, a, a CCFL. You disconnect it, then you take out the screen. Okay. Now, we're gonna mount the screen back to the same location. Let me take it out from here. Okay, let me move it. We're gonna probably mount it back like this. Uh, and so basically this wire was connected directly to, uh, let me, I don't wanna damage it. Okay. Okay, so this wire is actually directly connected to this wire adapters, just like that. But this thing was a little bit tricky. They didn't use a screw, they used a glue to glue the inverter on it. So the idents, the only way we can take it out would be try to, uh, you know, do it like this. One at a time, they're just using a glue. So unfortunately, uh, one end at a time, and then we're gonna finish the other end and take it out. Well, I just took it out. It takes quite a effort. I had to use in flathead screwdriver to tilt it up and use a knife to open up the grooves. So it's quite an effort. But if you're on the field and try to service this kind of monitors, and uh, you, you can just leave it as is and then just stick our uh, to any way that I uh, can allow it to stick to, you know. In this case, I'm going to stick to the uh, same place. So let me see how the panel was mounted first, then I will determine. So this is the inverters. This is how it mounts. Oh, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna mount like this way. Just peel it off. See that? Just mount it right here. Okay. Stick the wire inside. Now we're gonna connect this connector back. See this? You just push it back. There we go. The touch screen ribbon was broken. The touch screen is not here. Then you're gonna connect this one to either one. Then I'm gonna put the four screw back and um, take a look at the results. So I just put the four screw back and let's flip over. Here is the knife right here. I have a connector here, it's DC 24 volt, right? So we just plug in, flick over, this is old, probably takes time to to to, um, to boot it up, it's booting. I just wanna shut off my overlight head, overhead light, okay? So it takes maybe a few seconds to, to finish the put-in cycle, then you're gonna see how bright it is. Uh, this is already upgraded LED, it's, actually it's pretty bright, it's about a thousand nits. Okay, still putting, he's coming. Then you can see the whole screen.
here we go window xc i mean window ce yeah this is the original program okay thank you for watching